Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make the square for week 5 of the Crochet Along Last Dance on the Beach by Scheepjes. You'll either be using the Color Crafter or the Merino Soft Yarn this week and also do please check your pattern exactly which color you need for the square this week. The square with these cute little footsteps is designed by Nerissa from Miss Neris and of course in loving memory of Marinka. A few words regarding hook size for this week. I actually had to drop a hook size relative to the one I used last week. So for my Merino Soft I used a 4mm hook and for the Color Craft I used a 3.5mm hook. So I used a size smaller than I did last week, in which I used actually a 4.5 for the Merino Soft and now I used the 4 for the Color Craft I used a 3.5. So I had to drop a hook size, but then again, maybe your tension is totally different and you need to use the same hook size. So that's the reason why we have to keep on checking how we are relative to our gauge swatch to make sure that our squares are all the same size. So keep on noting which hook size you need for your square this week. I'll be taking you step by step through the rows making up this week. With a slip knot on my hook, I'm going to do a chain 30. That's one, two, three, seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty chain stitches. Now I'm going to go back and work a half treble in the third loop from your hook and then work a half treble on every stitch. Till you get to the beginning. So this is the same as we've done a few times now where that first row is a row of half trebles. Work a half treble on every stitch. And then of course when you're to the end you work the last trebles, half trebles on these last stitches and then your first chain stitch also. And then that completes row 1, in which you've worked 28 half trebles. For row 2, chain 2, this does not count as a stitch, and turn your work. We're now going to work a half treble on every stitch. So also in that very first one, because the chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. So it's your first half treble. Then work a half treble on every stitch, so that's 28 in total until you get to the other side. Then in the next row we'll be working our first seagull stitch. And uh, that's just a moment where you really need to pay attention that you're picking up your stitches in the correct loop. And um, then we can really start getting this, this fun little pattern into our square. And then work your last half trebles. And the very last one is of course here on this very first stitch. You work that last half treble. The chain 2 turn here, you don't work that because you only want the 28 stitches. So now you've worked 28 half trebles again and now we're ready for the next row where we're going to make those nice little stitches. Row 3 again starts with chain 2 does not count as a stitch and we're going to start by making 15 half trebles. So on the first stitch, again that very first one, one, two, make 15 of these, 15 half trebles, three, and 15. So we've done 15 half trebles. Now we're ready to do the seagull stitch. And I just want to show you where you're going to be pulling up loops. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be yarning over and then in three positions you're going to pick up a loop. Now take a look at where you are at the moment. This is the stitch you're currently in. So the next working stitch is going to be this stitch here. This stitch. And what we're going to be doing is we're not going to be pulling up a, a loop in this stitch but we're going to go to the previous stitch and then the base. 
So in this position here, this hole here, you're going to be pulling up a loop through that hole. Then you're going to be pulling up a loop two rows down in the stitch where you're currently in. So that's, go that's going to be this, this stitch, then come down one row, two rows. So that's actually going to be right on the edge of your square, you're going to be picking up a loop. And then one stitch forward, one row down. So this is still one row down, one stitch forward, you're going to be picking up a loop through this position. So you're not working in the at the top of the stitch here, but you're going to be working at the base of the stitches, where you're going to be working one back, one down, one forward. So look at the stitch, you're, this is the stitch you're supposed to be working, you're going to go to the base of that stitch, and then picking up a loop, one back, one down, one forward. That's the rhythm we're going to be doing. I'll show you slowly how we're doing this stitch. So to do the seagull stitch, we're going to start with a yarn over, and then in the stitch where we're supposed to work, you go to the base of that stitch, so this is the top, if, as if you were to take the half treble, you have to go to the base, and then go one back. So that's actually underneath the stitch where you currently where we just worked. So one back, pick up a loop from the back and bring forward and bring that loop up. You really don't want to keep this too short, you really want to give it a little bit of room. Now you're going to go to that same position but one down. So right on the edge of your work, pick up a loop from the back and again pull up that loop and give it a bit of room, really bring this loop up. And then one forward, remember I said that's the base of the stitch, then one position forward. From the back and bring up. And at this point you've picked up three loops and you've got that yarn over. You're going to take all of these off in one go. So you're going to do yarn over and pull through all of them. And in the process you're bringing this, this, these three threads together and you're making a little, you're, you're ma making a little foot basically. So now we're going to skip the stitch that we just worked and you're really going to have to pull your work apart a little, a bit, a little bit open because that's the stitch we're now going to be working in. It's this stitch here. Because here to the back there is still that stitch there can you see it? That stitch, that's the one that's been kind of been covered by the seagull stitch and that's so you're going to skip that and then the next stitch you're going to be working in. You get to make a half treble into that stitch and this stitch is hard to accidentally also skip because the seagull stitch can be just a little broad and kind of take up room and hence also cover that first stitch that you now need. So that was one, two, going to work 12, 3, 4, we're going to work 12 half trebles and if something goes wrong if you will either have 11 or you'll have 13 and then you know that you've either skipped one too many or one too few um, sorry, when, uh, of your stitches so then, then that's, I can guarantee you that's where it went wrong because I've also had that issue that I came here and I didn't have 12, I had 11 and then I accidentally skipped one stitch too many. And then your last one is on your last stitch and if everything went right we now have 12 half trebles. So just, let me just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, yes, 12 half trebles after the seagull stitch. So this first one, that first stitch there very important that you get that in the right position. So if everything went right you're going to have 12 half trebles here just after the seagull stitch. And this what you've just done, this stitch, you're going to be repeating that a few more times. The end of row 3 is a good point to just check for size because like I said this square I actually had to drop a hook size. I'm just going to take my gauge swatch. You specifically want to check for width at this point too early to check for height. 
I'm putting my work on my gauge swatch and you see here that you're perfectly onto size. I'm working with a three and a half millimeter hook and the color crafter yarn here and I'm perfectly, if I have my edge later on, I'm going to be exactly the right size. When I worked my first few rows I had a four millimeter hook and then I was really over, I was, I was over here on my square, I was really a bit over and that was a sign for me that I had to drop a hook size. So keep on checking your gauge because you don't want to be finished with your square and then realize, oh, it's too big. Because that's really going to be a bother. So keep on checking your gauge to see that you're still on the right track. Row 4, chain 2, turn your work and work a half treble on every stitch you're going to be doing a lot that you're going to be going to be doing one row that contains a seagull stitch and then you're going to be doing the next row which is only a row of half trebles and that you're going to be repeating basically until the end of the square I'll show you two more rows with the seagull stitch and then I'll jump to the end of the square row 5, again chain 2, which again does not count as a stitch, and turn your work. This row we are again going to be doing a seagull stitch. We start by making eight, 18 half trebles. So you're going to be just a little further than you were last time. So again in that first stitch, work a half treble and work 18. And 18 half trebles. So now again we're going to work a seagull stitch and I'll again show you exactly where you're going to be picking up a loop. So this is the stitch where you're currently in so the next stitch is this one. Go to the base of that stitch of your next stitch. You're going to be picking up a loop one stitch before. So it's going to be to the that one. You're going to be picking up one stitch down. That's going to be here. And you're going to be picking up one stitch forward. It's going to be there. So you're always picking up a, a triangle at the base of these stitches. So the stitch where you're, where you're going to be working, your next stitch, go to the base. Then go one back, pick up a loop, one down, pick up a loop, one forward, pick up a loop. Right, I'll show you. Yarn over. Then go to the base of the next stitch, the base, at the base, then go one back, pick up a loop, and really bring this loop up to give yourself some room, base and then down, pick up a loop, the base of that stitch and forward, pick up a loop. Three loops on your hook plus the yarn over. So yarn over and pull through all of them. Now we're again going to be skipping the stitch that's immediately behind this um, seagull stitch. And on the last stitches, there's going to be nine, going to work nine half trebles. And this here's the first one. Just having some trouble getting into. Yes, there we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on your last stitch, you do number nine. This one here. Like so. And you can see how I've now worked that second seagull stitch there. And now you've and this you're going to be repeating. You're now again going to make a row of half trebles. And you're going to make one after 15 half trebles and then after 18. So these rows you're going to be re basically repeating until the end of the square. But I'll show you the seagull stitch 
once more. So row 6 is again a row of half trebles. So chain 2 and turn and work a half treble on every stitch. And this is always the same between a row that contains a single stitch you work a row of half trebles. Again start with chain 2, turn your work and now we're again going to be making a seagull stitch this time after 15 half trebles because that's going to be, give us the first one but it's basically the same, you either work 15 trebles or 18 trebles then work a seagull stitch and then work the last trebles so this is you're going to repeat until your square is big enough so until you've worked 24 rows Show the just one more time the seagull stitch, I'm just going to make the half trebles to get me to the correct position then I'll show you the stitch once more so the correct number of stitches again, half trebles so we're going to work a seagull stitch again the position where you your next stitch go to the base of that stitch then you're going to pick up a loop one stitch back one stitch down one stitch forward base of your stitch, back, down, forward. Yarn over, because that's how we do start this stitch. So go to next stitch, the base, one down. Oh sorry, one right. My rights and my lefts aren't my best thing. Pick up a loop, base of the stitch, go one down, pick up a loop, base of the stitch to the right, sorry, the left, pick one up and pull through. Then make sure you get properly into the next stitch to work a half treble and then work a half treble till the end. And this is your repeat that you're now going to repeat until you've had 24 rows. When we're halfway, so after 12 rows, we're just quickly going to check for size again. I'm now roughly halfway, so I just want to check for size again. You can see I have now have five little footsteps. Just putting my square on my gate swatch. You see how I'm good for width. And if you look at the height that I'm roughly halfway on height also. So with a three and a half millimeter hook and the color crafter yarn I get a good fit on my gate swatch. So do double check that you're still on track. I'm going to continue with the repeats until I've done all 24 repeats. So those are all the seagull stitches and the half trebles in between. And then I'll see you for the edge of the square. So when you've done all the repeats also remember to do this last row of half trebles because you've done this seagull row so that's the last row that contained a seagull stitch and then you still need to come back and do that last row of half trebles also so don't forget that last row and now you're at a point that you can do the border and yes you're going to do exactly the same as we've done before you're going to do a chain one and now 26 half double crochets sorry double crochets on every stitch. So I'm going to skip the first one because you've got 28 stitches here and you need 26. So I'm going to skip the first one and then do a double crochet on the next and do a double crochet on every stitch until you get to the other side because that's going to be the easiest. And when you get to the other side you're going to do a corner which is again three double crochets in the corner and then again 26 double crochets on your next edge that's going to be an edge like this and this time around it's also reasonably easy because you've got 24 rows and you need 26 stitches so it's more or less one stitch on every row and you've got to do an extra one somewhere that's 26 stitches on each edge 26 double crochets and on the corner you do three double crochets and also remember to mark your corner stitch with a thread so it's the second of the three because that's going to mark your corner. Go all the way around, 
when you get to the beginning you'll do those three double crochets and then close to the first stitch and then you've completed your square when you're all done your square looks like this you've actually worked your square upside down so when you connect it to your blanket you turn it around to have actually have the feet walking upright take a moment to block your square that your curling edges become nice and flat edges and then you're done for this week so this is the color craft version this is the merino soft version i'm of the opinion that you see the feet just ever so slightly better on the merino soft than you do on the color craft to this week but that's that, that's just my opinion make four squares for this week block them and then you're ready for next week and i hope to see you again thank you for watching